Do you know how much it actually costs to get a real estate deal? I mean, have you ever actually sat down and thought about it? Hmm, how much is one deal actually going to cost me? You see, Alex Hermosi did a video wonderfully breaking down customer acquisition costs. But he's talking about, generally speaking, products that you can buy that are smaller, smaller value. We're talking about cars, shirts, t-shirts, shoes, hats, doors, windows, all those type of products that are smaller. But when you get into the real estate business, everything gets real big. So the lifetime value of the customer is different from somebody that's gonna be going in and buying a Starbucks coffee. So let's break it down right now so you know what does it cost for me to get into this real estate business and do a deal? Let's do it. Okay class, it's Chris Haskins with TheRealEstateRoundup.com. My mission and ministry is to raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. In doing that, I want to help you grow your business and not only that, raise the frequencies and vibrations in your mind to get you to build your real estate empire, okay? I'm happy to be on this journey with you and thank you so much. We're passing 140,000 subscribers, all thanks to you that allow me to share these crazy stories that I've been going on since 2004. So as I'm thinking, thinking, thinking about business, how to better commit myself to serving you and growing your business, I have to look at things from a high level from time to time. And if you've ever bumped into this wall where you say, hmm, why aren't I doing any real estate deals? Or why aren't I doing as many deals as I want to be doing or as I think I need to be? Well, we can all boil it down to the two metrics that I believe Alex Hermosi broke down for us that's really good for us to understand. What is gonna be your customer acquisition costs? And what is the lifetime value, the gross value of that customer? You see, you and I are in a, in a very unique, how was it, an extremely unique business because our lifetime value is different from somebody that has a lifetime value, let's say for Starbucks. The lifetime value of their client, I've seen, I've been researching it, is between eleven dollars and $15,000. That's because they have time on their side. They can sell one latte to that customer over and over and over and over and over again. Right? They can sell all these type of things. They can upsell them to an add-on to get a biscuit or a, my daughter loves those stupid cake pops that cost me $3 to buy. You get one, you get one bite of a piece of cake. <laughs> it's crazy. $3 and the coffee's 5 to $6 for a small right now. So they're, they're getting their money over time with the customers. But real estate is extremely different. And you see, the problem with real estate, what I've learned from just analyzing this thing, I've been thinking like, what? It really, real estate is it's just, everybody says all businesses are the same. I really believe real estate is unique. The problem is we don't have time to get lifetime value, the gross value, whatever the most amount of money we're gonna get out of our customers because our customer usually has what? One house. That's all they're going to be, that is your customer. That is all the product that they have. So we don't have time to pull out all of that value from the customer. We have to do it right now because they only got one house. Now generally speaking, nobody's gonna have a house every year to sell you. So it's not like you got this long lifetime gross value. So we have to get the money out of the homeowner as fast as possible, which is again why I believe real estate is extremely competitive. I mean, years ago before all this internet stuff, I'm telling you guys, real estate is competitive. You, if, when you get a lead in now, you best as be contacting that lead in the first five minutes. Because if not, they got all these robots, they've got all these AIs, they've got people on staff, they've got cold callers, they've got warm callers, they've got Luke, all these people calling reaching out to your to these sellers if you don't reach out to them in time so this is an extremely competitive industry right now and i know a lot of people are getting out of it a lot of people are getting out of real estate it's so competitive so the customer acquisition costs i want us to understand let's break down so and i want to share with you what are our customer acquisition costs right because our main way to generate leads are going to be direct mail and the internet with social media and google and TikTok. What else? Let's just call it internet marketing. But the 
Customer acquisition costs, I need us to understand, first of all, what is the principle? It's going to be what or how much are we going to spend to get one person into the door? That's it. How much are we going to spend All right, for us to do business with? Now, all the people that come into the door are for, for real estate are not necessarily going to be a customer, right? Generally speaking, all the leads that you get in, they're going to be worth nothing, right? They're going to either have no equity. They're going to be somebody that doesn't, they're not ready to sell today. They could be an investor that wants too much money. They may be somebody uh, where the payment is too high and uh, they need to sell by next week. And you're not necessarily, the, the deal is just not going to work for you. There could be so many things, right? It could, the property could need too many repairs and they, they're asking too much. There are a million things that could, that could be bad with a lead that comes in that you won't be able to do the deal, right? So let's talk about time. We start advertising. It takes time for us to get the actual customer from the leads that come in. So I've boiled it down. It takes about between two and three hundred dollars per lead that's not customer per lead all right so that means i have to calculate how many of those leads are going to turn into a customer so for us we're closing about uh, one out of 15 to 15 to 18 we're closing about one out of 15 to 18 leads that come in the door now once again it's not like starbucks because if you have a lead that comes in the door Nine times out of ten, they're going to buy something. If you walk into a Starbucks store and you start smelling the aroma and all this stuff, I mean, I'm going to buy something. You know, it's just how it is. But when we start engaging clients, the people that have a house for sale, it's crazy because the people that even have a house for sale is so small, right? It's not like they, everybody's not like we're selling a pair of shoes. Everybody's got a pair of shoes. So our cost of lead is between two and three hundred dollars, and it's, it's taking me fifteen to eighteen leads to close. So that's going to be 18 times $300. I'm rounding up. What's that? 18, roughly, let's say 15, 18. Roughly, it's going to be $5,000 for me to close a deal. Five grand. Roughly. Roughly. So our customer acquisition cost to do a real estate deal is five grand. Now, you might like be like a lot of these people out here where they're saying, I'm just going to focus on free leads. I'm going to look for foreclosures, pre foreclosures. You can do that. But it's challenging to scale that. It's challenging to forecast that. It's challenging to build a business on free leads. <clears throat> but the real goal, I believe, in business is to tweak your business so that you can spend money on leads. Let me say that again. The real goal in business is to tweak it so you don't have to rely on free leads to make it so you can put a dollar in and get $10 out. That is the true goal of doing real estate, right? It all, it, this came to me not too long ago. I'm like, why am I worried about free leads when I can just put a dollar here and get $10 out? That, and Ron LeGrand told me this many, many years ago. Stop worrying about what it costs to get the customer and worry about how much money you're making, okay? So we got customer acquisition costs per lead, three to 500. And different businesses have more expensive leads, but our leads are three to five hundred, um, two to three hundred, right? So we got lead, lead, lead coming in, time, 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 boom. That's when we get a, we get a customer because every lead is not going to be good. Lead, lead comes in, lead comes in. And another caveat with real estate: somebody might have all the numbers right. That you have you have agreed on a price. They like you, you like them, but they're just not ready, which is another thing. Time. Time. We might have a customer ready to do business with you and you agree to all the terms, but they're just not ready to come to closing because of whatever. Somebody got to move, somebody's sick in the hospital, somebody died, somebody got a new job, they got to get relocated. It's so many different moving parts as opposed to you going in and buying a Big Mac. <laughs> so different. So, customer's acquisition costs five grand to get a deal, all right? Now, this is in the, in the Virginia Beach area. Now, lifetime value, this is where it's so unique. The lifetime value of a Starbucks, per, uh, a Starbucks customer goes over time, but in real estate, so Starbucks, they're coming in and out, they're getting Cokes, they're going to McDonald's, they're getting Big Mac, they're going to Chipotle, they're buying the bowl or a burrito or whatever over time. Real estate, the moment you buy the property, the moment you exchange the paperwork and give the customer the money for the real estate, 
Your relationship is done. That's it. There is no time. There is no way for you to get any more money out of this customer, which is why we have to be on top of our game because every lead that comes in is costing money. Are you looking to sharpen your negotiating skills or actually become a master at negotiating with motivated sellers? Then check out my Ninja Negotiating 11 audio training module. The link's right in the show notes. It's 11 hours of me negotiating directly with, with homeowners inside of the property. I recorded it live right with them. All the different strategies we use to get, and to get more deals and to close these deals. So if you want to actually become a negotiation master, get started in the show notes below and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Let's get back to our video. And every lead could be a potential for you to make 20, 30, 40, $50,000. So lifetime value, that's going to be how much money that you will, how much gross profit you can make from one customer over the lifetime. Since our lifetime in real estate is right here. Let's just call it a one. That's it. You ain't got no other time, baby. Ain't no other time to make money of them. So that's why real estate is so daggone competitive. Okay. Now, so when the leads come in, let's say they've, you, they've agreed to sell, they have agreed to sell you the property. <clears throat> we go to the closing, boom, boom, boom. We give them 200,000. They give us the property. Now our profit, let's say hopefully our profit on the deal, let's just say it's going to be 30K. Take 30K. 20, let's say 20 to 30K on, on a low end, right? Because I don't know if you're going to 20K to 30K. Now, obviously, it could be a lot more. We've done deals five times, five times bigger than that. On an average, right? This is on an average. Let's just say the lifetime value of that customer is going to give you 20 to 30K. Now, I need you to get this. I know it's going to take, it's taking some time for me to get to this. <clears throat> as long as your customer acquisition costs are lower than your lifetime value of the customer, you are doing great. Now, the goal is to get it hopefully a third or a fourth of what it costs to get a customer. So I would like to see if you're spending 5,000, I would like for you to at least make 20,000. Here's the magic, y'all. Here's the magic. In real estate, if we were to spend 5,000, let's just double that. So we got this box here, right? This is a box. We put money in. Okay, you got to get this one. Took me years to conceptualize and visualize this. I have to be listening to so many different trainers. If we can just put money in this box, take say five grand, put it in a box, and 20 is going to come out minimum. Could be 30, could be 40, could be 50. But what if we put 10,000 into the CAC box? Okay, then we could double our output. So we have to focus on making our outputs higher. And all this does, all the left side of the box takes, nothing but paper and credit card. That's it. I hope you guys are kind of seeing how simple this system is. This is nothing but a credit card on file. How much is it? How much was it? 10 grand? Okay, cool. We made 40 grand. Let's keep going. What if we went to 15,000 a month? Now that turns this box into minimum 20, 40, 60,000. Okay. So the lifetime value of your customer in real estate. You got to get it immediate, immediately, baby. You can't be waiting over time. It's not like a person is going to sell you a house today. And then six months from now, they're going to say, you know what, Chris? I got another house that has twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 worth of profit in it for you. Let me give you another property. Uh-uh. Don't work like that. So our business has high transaction value. It's not like over time in Starbucks and fast food where we're getting little, little licks. Boom, boom, boom. $10 here. $15 there. And then 15 years, we've made twenty, thirty, we've made $15,000 out of these people. So keep this in mind, money in the box, your CAC, customer acquisition costs. Which one are you going to be? The person that just says, I'm going to try to get free leads, or are you going to try to run a business in your life? And I know I'm going to be the first to say it. yes. For the first half of my career, I was trying to do things the cheapest way possible. It's, it's a reality. And I'm glad that I was able to survive doing that, but I didn't thrive. It wasn't until I came to the realization, if I could just put money into the CAC, customer acquisition, then 
then I can actually predict what the lifetime value of my client is, even in real estate, <clears throat> even if it's only going to be one transaction. Okay. So get out there. If you're looking for leads, there are some links in the video description. We've got, we can pull leads for you. If you need software, I've got the best software in the business. Just go to chrispropertydata.com. A bunch of uh, resources in the description below because I want you to succeed in this thing as our markets are shifting. Interest rates, who knows what's going to happen? People, <coughs> people not wanting to sell their properties. People making low offers. People holding on to properties because they don't want to let those interest rates go from back in 2020, 2021. The market right now, it could go either way. We don't know. We have no idea. Values are coming down. Inventory stacking up. This is going to be, this is going to be so interesting over the next five years. I promise you, if you understand this stuff, you are going to crush it in the real estate business. And I welcome to be along. I'm happy to be along for your journey. Okay, so take a second, subscribe to the channel, but not only that, I need you to do me a favor and share. You've got to share this information because how long did it take me to understand, put money in the box, focus on the output, how, how high of a value can I make my customer? Stop worrying about what you're putting in here, focus on the output, okay? Share this stuff and give me a like. If I've helped you at all, give me hit that like button down there below and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.